Hi everybody, welcome to my hush haul part one. Because <laughs> I actually have more stuff, but I wasn't able to play with everything because um, I only have one face. Actually, but it's really cool because the girls at my work, you know, um, on lunch break, I got to, you know, do some of their um, little eyeshadows to play with them too. So that was fun. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, you guys want to help me, you know, just give some stuff a little test. <laughs> so that was fun. Anyway, okay, so moving along. Hold on one second. Okay, I had to turn that light off over there. It's actually like midnight, and I just got in from work because it was one of them long days, but that's okay. So I'm going to start with these little bad boys. Um, these are, I, it's really funny because they're from two different companies. <laughs> this one is Face Candy, and this one is the Oakland one. Oakland, Oakland, whatever y'all want to say it, you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these are the Lime Crime dupes, okay? Pretty, pretty sure. I'm not going to tell you the dupes from, because I, I don't know, but I'm just basically looking at these palettes and saying these things and are they worth it? To be perfectly honest, um, this one is the, um, the Rainforest palette and this one is, um, Face Candy and, um, I, I loved this blue shade. Oh, that was so pretty. Um, this was the only palette out of the bunch that, oh, I like that gold though, that really wasn't that wow for me, okay? Uh, it just, it didn't, like, I mean, that's supposed to be blue, but it is blue, but, oh, girl, I just made a mess. Ooh, boy, hold on one second. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Like, it made a hot mess. Um, I mean, it just wasn't my favorite one out of the bunch, but obviously it's good. Um, it's okay. It's just, I don't know, it, the color scheme to me, sorry, it, it, the color scheme to me just doesn't make much sense, okay? Again, I do think they are lime crime dupes, but um, it, it, it is pretty decent, and it comes with a mirror, you know. Um, it just wasn't my favorite just because of the scheme, but it worked well. It does. They're eyeshadows, people. I mean... It's, and I, I don't mean to put it that kind of way, but I understand, like, there's Too Faced, there's Kat Von D, there's, there's uh, Naked Palace, there's this and that and that and this, but not everybody can seriously afford those things. Um, so I really think Hush is a really great alternative to people that love makeup and don't have a huge budget. You know, I really think it's great. Um, I know there's like a lot of controversy. People say, you know, well, you know, that's not fair. They're duping, you know, they're duping and then the original artists or whatever aren't getting the money. I get that, I, I really do. But for people that love makeup or even for if you wanna buy your kids makeup or your sister or your friends or whatever, or your son, or your, whoever you wanna buy makeup for, if you're on a tight budget, I think these are extremely great alternatives. I don't have any of the bad habit ones here right now. I did do reviews on the bad habits. I just have another, um, this, that's why this is part one. I wanted to get into the other thing because I've already dibbled into enough of the bad habits. I really love the bad habit ones. I, I just do. I think they're great. Um, but I do have like some more things I gotta dibble to. So anyway, moving along, this is the Tropics one. This is also by Face Candy. Um, this one, Again, it was pretty decent. I got a little makeup wipe here, so now I can finally... Um, this shade, I just loved that shade. It's kind of like a hot pinky almost. Um, and, um, they, you know, they're good. They're good. They last, okay? I put my makeup on before I go to work or whatever. I'm at work for, you know, several hours, and I walk around sweating my booty off. And they're still there when I come home at night. You know, I have to use makeup. And again, it comes with a mirror, which is really kind of cool. I like the packaging on these, though. It's kind of cool. But again, it's kind of bulky. But again, good palette. I don't have really anything horrible to say about these. And this is, now this one is the Oakland one. And this is Matt's, um, which is really cool. I like to have um, a palette that has mattes because you know what I I, I just would really like to I, I like to you know I, I I again this is the Oakland or whatever whatever it's really kind of funny that it's kind of the same schemish thing but the only thing I want to say about this palette is um hmm, this one goes in my absolute least favorite Oakland um and they do swatch okay or whatever it's just my least favorite because of the colors, <laughs> to be honest. It's like, 
uh, it's the colors in them, guys. It's the colors. It's just doesn't make a lot of sense but that's okay if you want you can pick up a $23 Morphe palette I mean I'm pretty sure this is $10 I think I got this for seven to be honest because I think it was on sale but it's $10 you get one two three eight shades for $10 you spend a couple more bucks get yourself a Morphe palette and then there you go this is the only one that I want to say I would not recommend spending your money on because I just don't see it worth it um but again it comes with a mirror but seriously, I just don't see the worth in this one. This is the only one I'm going to say. And again, this is the Oakland Mats one. Bulky packaging, but that's okay. All right, now we're going to move on to um, the Beauty Creations. And one of these, I want to say, is an Anastasia dupe. I want to say this this little palette here. Oh, my God, this is so funny. It's This is the cheapiest, flimsiest palette. <laughs> it is. And this is the Irresistible Palette by Beauty Creations, guys. Um, this one, it's it's a bit boring. You know, it's a, it's a little boring. This palette, I want to say that you would not need this palette because you probably have tons of palettes, or you probably have palettes that have all of these shades if you don't that's okay but it, it is cheaply you know it's very cheap kind of made but it's it's okay it works we'll do a little swatches of these um it, the, and the color scheme to me I, I don't know why i'm obsessed with sometimes color schemes but you got a few little you know reds and i, I don't know it's just it's just weird guys it's just weird but we'll do a little swatches and i don't know i mean but it's okay it's nice you know they swatch all right you know they're good you know, it's, do little, you know, and they, they stay, you know, they do. They, all these palettes are really, really good, to be honest. They're good, but um, things you can avoid, this is one that you can avoid because you probably have several palettes with these shades, but again, it was pretty cute. It was nice. It's decent. I like it. A little thing to add to my collection. This little sucker, though, this is the um, Tease Me, and this is by Beauty Creations. I like this palette. This is really, really nice. I want to say I am pretty sure this is one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills dupes. I want to say I love the shade Fire up here. I'm just waiting for my arm to dry a little bit. So I'm well, just wipe it on my side. I don't care. Um, but I love that shade. It's a really nice shade. It's really nice. They, they, I mean, they do swatch well or whatever. Um, you know, you got to use, they got a shade in here called Sexy. <laughs> it's that little goldy, um, glitzy shade. And look at her. I mean, she is, just, just, she comes home. She's partying, you know. Very nice palette. I absolutely 100% love this palette. It's really, really nice. I love the colors in here. Um, this one, again, I think is only like $10. It's one of the Beauty Creations one. Love this palette. Um, then I got the Oakland uh, Natural, and this is the nighttime. They have a day and a night. This is the nighttime one because I couldn't get the daytime one because it was sold out. This is kind of like in, I don't think it's a Too Faced dupe. It might be a Too Faced dupe, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it, it is, it's really, really okay. It's kind of good. Um, I went to see if it's, I, I forgot to smell it. Um, but you know, that's like a little coconut cream or whatever. And it, they show up, they're here to party. They're here to play. I like this. Um, this pink shade in here is super, it, you ain't going to be able to see that because of my lighting, but it's really nice. It, this pink shade in here is called pink sugar. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's a Too Faced, but they're, they're nice. They're really, really nice. Um, uh, that's like a greeny. This is really pretty too. Wait, I want to get a better swatch. I hate the, the only thing I hate about this palette, I don't know why, it's, but I don't like the little hearts things in it. I like, I just like my eyeshadows to have like little squares, damn it. Oh God. So anyway, that, this palette is really, really nice. It's cute. Got a lot of nice little colors in here. And I like the fact that it has a little bit more mattes and less um, shimmer. So this is a really good palette that you can make a ton of good looks out of. I really, really like that. Last but not least for this haul, 
I got, this is the Face Candy, the Mermaid Glow, the highlighter palette, and you see that reflecting. <laughs> I like the packaging and it's good. It's good. Um, I think all these palettes, every one of them, which I so appreciate, have mirrors. I mean, that's great. For me, I can't see crap. You know, I need to have a, a magnified mirror because obviously you can't do your eyes with your glasses on. And if you guys know how to do that, please inform me of your skills because <laughs> anyway, this little beauty, um, I like it. I do. Um, and you know, you guys know I am a sucker for the purples. I didn't get the unicorn one. I was going to get the bundle, but I was like, nah, I, I just want to try one. So, um, anyway, I like this. Um, it's really nice. This is, oh my God. This is shape. Look, oh my God. And they go on beautifully. They really do. Um, they go on absolutely great. Um, look at that. Oh, guys, they're really, really nice. I'm just wiping. But I, I like, I really, really like these palettes. I'm just going to swatch the last three. Oh, they are just here to play. They are here to party. So these are very good guys very very good i totally 100 percent recommend um if these guys like highlighter if you're into like the purpley blueies greenies whatever this kind of like unicorny thing which uh, you know this one's mermaid but i would go more for unicorn on this one but i don't care i don't care if they call it furball <laughs> it's whatever but this is an amazing, amazing highlighter palette. It's just, I like, I like it a lot. So to be honest, you know, Bad Habits, their palettes were the only ones that I dibbled in besides the One Face Candy one that I have. And I would really, really say outside of these two, these two were just my least favorite. And I just don't think they're, I mean, if you have these other palettes, these are just, or any other, you can pick up something else besides, um, just my thing, you know, if you're going to spend 10 to 12 dollars, or you can even spend two extra bucks and get something with just a little bit better, but they're good. I mean, I'm not saying the quality of them are bad. It's just, mm, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's just, mm, um, but I really think it's awesome that there is a site that gives people that love makeup a way to buy it. Um, I will 100% recommend Shop Hush to anybody, at least for eyeshadows and, and obviously the highlighters. $10, guys. I mean, seriously, $10, $12 for this. I mean, I think if you buy the bundle, it's 22 I don't know. It's somewhere. Yeah, they're $12. And if you buy the Unicorn and the Mermaid, it's you know 22 so they're not who cares but you're getting all these shades you know so if you got the bundle you're gonna get you know 12 shades for 22 dollars and they're amazing highlighters they're their eyeshadow palettes are just great they're great they're gonna work so if you love makeup i mean i know my subscribers i love you all but if some you happen to bump into this video if you love makeup and you don't have a big budget I will tell you, go to Shop Hush. Just go there. Um, it's amazing. I do have another um, little haul that I'm going to be doing with you guys. I'm so ready for my vacation. I am 15 days away now. 15 days away. I'm working really hard on um, my mom's benefit. Also, I have so many wonderful people at work that are going to be donating baskets. I have family that's going to be donating baskets. Um, so I'm hoping, I mean, mom was very upset. She got a $6,000 bill in the mail from Waswell and you can know to anybody, I mean, there's a difference between sticker shock and, oh my God, I just got this bill. And it's, you know, it's so hard, you know, cause you're, you're, you're in, you're depressed and you're upset because you have cancer, you're angry and then you're sick because of the chemo and you're fighting it and um then you get hit with a bill that you can never afford to possibly pay so you know mom does have a little bit of depression going on and i'm trying so hard to you know pull her through and let her know that you know just just stay positive 
And it's so hard, you know, even for me to say, Mom, stay positive, knowing that she's so overwhelmed, you know, and it's getting a little tough, you know, and God bless her, you know, I'm hoping that um, we can get her through this and pass this and at least have some more years. I know there's no cure for lung cancer. I know that. Um, the best thing that we can hope for now is a few more years. Um, I'm just not ready to lose my mom yet, and I don't think anybody is, and I know there's people out there that have watched these videos or my videos that have lost a parent, friend, or loved one, and um, it's hard, you know, but I just want to be able to give her a little bit more life and um, a little happiness with that life. I mean, it's hard that you're fighting cancer and you're fighting just to live, but now you're fighting to live and you're hit with all this stuff. So I'm doing good with this benefit planning. Um, it's going great. Family members are helping. Everything's going well. Um, and I'm hoping for a wonderful turnout and I'm sure there will be because, you know, everybody loves the Chinese auction. I know I go to benefits because I love the Chinese auctions. Um, if I have the chance or the time or whatever, cause I just love those. I mean, you can get some really, really good things. So I'm working on right now, like door price, you know, see, I'm, uh, writing a few letters to, you know, companies or people to try to maybe at least get a door prize or something. Um, so it is work, but I'm willing to do every last step of the work. I don't mind because I love my mother. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And thank you again for taking the time to watch any of my videos. And I love Shab Hush. I'm a hush puppy. <laughs> Kiss us all.